Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an absolutely stress-free video where I have zero issues getting Windows into a flash drive. It works first try, you know, it, it absolutely had no issues doing anything and we had no, we had no problems, right? WRONG! So the first thing I did was I used this wonderful, amazing software called Rufus, right? I, uh, I got the Windows 11 ISO off the Microsoft website and I went ahead and started the flash process. Well, here is a seven and a half hour time lapse of me installing and flashing windows to it. Yes, you heard me right. Seven and a half hours. Was this worth it? Absolutely not. Because the first time I tried booting the windows, it took six hours on top of that to get into the setup process for windows. So at that point, I thought it might have been the software I used, right? So I went ahead and I tried a variety a variety of other software it was just like i tried ventoy which ended up being a completely separate software that was very useful but not what i wanted then i tried win to usb and i started the flashing process and i saw the time on that thing so i i at that point i was like you know this is probably an issue with this drive. So I fished around for a little bit and found this good old one 64 gigabyte flash drive. It only took one hour for Rufus to flash windows to this drive versus seven and a half. So that confirmed to me that something was a little weird about this drive. I don't know what it was. I mean, everything else worked fine on it. I transferred files to and from it and it was pretty fast. So I don't know. Maybe maybe Windows just is not a good fit for this drive. And yes, what you're seeing in the background is still the original seven and a half hour time lapse. It's still going. I now present to you my descent into insanity. This is such a good Windows experience. I, I, it's so snappy and responsive. I'm not going insane, I swear. Whoa, it's white now. Oh my god. This is exciting. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder what happens if I click this. Let's see. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Windows. And I really appreciate you downloading all these these updates for me on my USB flash drive. It's great. It's awesome. I love you so much. I actually don't know if I can continue doing this, bro. How is the task manager not responding not going to respond? Explain to me. Explain. The task manager has turned into a black hole. It's gonna eat up the whole desktop, bro. Uh, you know, I don't think this is how uh, seconds work. I don't think it's it stays still. Is this an hours? It might be an hours. I'm just trying to install my drivers. Please. Oh, it teleported. Oh, seconds are working. Uh, it got stuck again. It, it's 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 doing the thing again. Please, please work. Despite all the troubles I went through, I still managed to pull through and get a game on this freaking flash drive. It has taken me all of Tuesday, Wednesday, and today, Thursday, to get to this point. <sighs> Anyways, we are going to play some Resident Evil 4. I I'm using this drive for Windows. This is a flash drive, 64 gigabytes. It's, it's the bare minimum for, for Windows 11. Then for my game drive, I have this. This is another flash drive. This is the initial flash drive I tried to use. That did not work. It took seven hours of flash. So let me just press play and see how long it takes. Okay. Really not long at all. I did load this up before, just to load in shaders. That's that's all I did because I didn't want I wanted all the issues that we have for this to be related to the drive and not my GPU trying to build up shader cache. So that's why. So it might be a little easier to load the, the, the second time. I don't know, but we are in, and it is not taking a long time to do anything. So I'm, you know what? It's just, this is already a step up from anything I've ever done on this computer. So uh, we'll just do to get on mercenaries. You know, we, we don't, I don't have any faith that this that this drive can do anything related to the main story. Okay, 
And as you can see, performance is great. There's 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 <laughs> there's no issues. Somehow. It's taken three days to get to the point of this. And you know what? Is it was it worth it? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But we have a usable gameplay experience, and that is, I guess, cool to see. So, does this mean that Windows should be installed on a flash drive? No. Windows should never go anywhere near a flash drive. Don't install it on a flash drive, please. I don't care if you had the, fla the fastest flash drive in the world. Just get an SSD, please. But this does prove that maybe flash drives are okay for games. I wouldn't. I would not put anything open world near this near this freaking drive. But smaller titles that don't have as big of, as of an open space is fine. Like this. This is just a mercenaries gameplay. This isn't the most extensive big open world in, in the world but it is at least a game that looks good i don't think there's any uh impact on fps i think this is about what i usually get honestly i don't remember because i've been it's taken so much time in my life i haven't used my my windows install on my ssd in three days in conclusion if you need yourself like a drive that's portable and has windows on it don't do this please unless you are willing to spend a lot of money on a nice drive that won't have issues which i can't even guarantee flash drives are not meant for an os it's not meant to handle that type of workload okay just get yourself an external ssd or or external ssd enclosure or something like that and it, it will be a hundred times better than this like i'm not even kidding you will save a lot of gray hairs on your head okay anyways thank you for watching my suffering i hope it was enjoyable for you and i need a freaking break bro i need a freaking break from this